Bill wants to know more about how and why the baby died. He's seeking help from consultant paediatrician Dr. John Walker Smith. Hi. John? Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Sit down. Would you like to be comfortable there? Oh, I'm not staying. Long, right. Unless you've got a very long <laughs> explanation. <laughs> no. This is right. um death certificate. Yes. I'd like to see that if I may. There you go. And this is what rather sadly would have been a sister. Um, I was born right. the next year. And what I absolutely have no idea where it says cause of death is the word inanition what this means here uh, i think is that you've got a poorly nourished baby who may also have been dehydrated as well it doesn't tell us anything about the actual immediate circumstances of death well i can okay uh, right five you see for a start i have been offered a picture of the fact that the baby was crying my mum wanted to go to it my granny my father's mother said no 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 let her cry let her cry and sort of stopped her going there right and eventually when they did go the baby mm. was dead leading question I guess if anybody had gone straight in when a baby was crying mm. uh, would that have saved the baby or would something have happened anyway yeah. I think with the overall diagnosis of inanition mm. uh, I think it's the baby's outlook, that's the chances of surviving, were, 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 pretty, were pretty slim at that time. Yeah. Today, that would not be the case. No. I mean, it was a time when infant mortality uh, in England and Wales was significantly higher. Yeah. Now, if we look at the part of the country where um, Rochdale, now these are, these are going back to the, uh, to the 19th century, but this is infant mortality rate in England and Wales. The worst part of England and Wales to live in was it was in that area there, yeah. and it was the deprivation uh, of the baby suffered in the urban environment. It doesn't matter what the doctor or anybody else says about that baby might have died or that baby would have died. My parents would never know. My mother in particular would never know. And if she were stopped from going to the baby, I can't see how she would not have carried that feeling through her life, of feeling, if only I'd gone up there, I could have saved the baby's life. It may not be true, but in her head, it must have been. My mum must have had to live in the same house as somebody she thought, if you hadn't been here, that little girl might still be alive. You want what? Mummy? <laughs> now this, uh, this really does feel like coming home. Oak Tree Crescent. What a verdant name, eh?